Hey everyone, Hank for the win here. Today I thought I'd do a quick start guide on how to install and set up SideQuest. If you're not familiar with what SideQuest is, this is basically an application that allows you to sideload additional software onto the Oculus Quest that isn't normally available on the Oculus Store. So this could be games that have in preview or other software that hasn't been deemed suitable for the Oculus Store. So what I'll do, I'll go through the steps, I'll leave links below, and then I'll show you an example of how to install a game. I'll also show you how to use screen copy for streaming Quest footage to your PC. And finally, I'll show you how to use virtual desktop for playing Steam VR games wirelessly on the Quest. So before we get going, you'll just need a few bits ready. You'll need a desktop PC running either Windows, Mac or Linux. You'll also need a smart device such as the phone you used to set up your Oculus Quest when you first set it up. And then you'll need a USB type C to type B cable to connect your Quest to your desktop PC. Now, if your motherboard has a Type-C connector, you can use the cable that came with the Quest. Alternatively, if you've got an Android phone already, try checking the charge cable that came with the mobile phone. That may be Type-C to Type-B. Step one, download and install SideQuest onto your computer from sidequestvr.com. Once you come to sidequestvr.com, first thing you'll want to do on the home page is go over to download. And then you'll want to download the version relevant to your operating system. So in this case, I'm going to go for Windows X64. Once downloaded, run the setup and then follow through the prompts. Step two, next we go to the Oculus dashboard and we're going to create a new organization to allow us to put our quest into debug mode. So click on the button here, create new organization, think of a name. This can be anything you want. Click the I understand and then submit. Step three, Enable developer mode on your Quest via the Oculus app. To enable developer mode on your Oculus Quest, just go into the Oculus app on your smart device, then into the settings menu in the bottom right hand corner, and then expand the Oculus Quest menu. Then go down to more settings, and then developer mode, and then move the slider to enable developer mode. And finally, step four, connect your Quest to your PC with the USB cable, look inside the headset and check the always allow from this computer option. So the last step is to launch SideQuest on your PC. So with the app up and running, you're presented with a menu bar at the top here, and then you've got a bunch of options here as well. So just going over the first thing you'll want to probably check out as games and apps. Now, for example, say if we want to install Pavlov Shack, just click on the button and then we click on install latest. And that's it. It'll start to install the game. Now, what you can also do if you don't want to have the cable connected to your PC the whole time, you can click on the little Wi-Fi symbol up here. Click connect. And that should be safe to disconnect the cable from your PC and install applications over the Wi-Fi. Now, if at any point you want to get back to the main screen, just click on the little square in the top left corner, and then we'll check out some of the other options. So here, the little YouTube symbol, it says stream from your headset to your PC with screen copy. So this allows you to run a software based way of casting from the quest to your PC. Most of these settings you can leave as they are and just hit start stream. And there we go, we can see exactly what I'm seeing in the Quest headset. Now, this is quite a cool way of streaming the Quest to OBS, for instance. Now, I've already done a video on how to stream the Quest using hardware only, and I've chucked in some extra tips in that video on how to get the audio and the video sounding good in OBS. So I'll leave a link in the top right here for that video. It's worth checking out. This method, you obviously don't need as much hardware, I'm not sure how well this performs in terms of CPU usage on the Quest. So I'm going to be trying this out and comparing it to the hardware method. What I do like with this approach though, is you get more settings available to tune the image. So now that I've got the screencasting up and running, I'll just show you how to launch the installed games. So go to navigate and go to library. And then on the left hand side in the library, you'll have unknown sources. And there we can see Pavlov that we've just installed.
So another really good app worth checking out is called Virtual Desktop. Now you'll need to buy the app on the Oculus Store first for this version to work. But the difference between this version and the one on the store is this allows you to use Steam VR in Virtual Desktop. So if you've got a gaming PC that's capable of running Steam VR, you can download this and the corresponding stream app on your desktop PC, and that allow you to play Steam VR games on your Oculus Quest. Once you're ready on the desktop PC, go to vrdesktop.net, download the streamer app and install that. Once we've got Virtual Desktop Streamer installed, we'll load that up and then we'll jump into the Oculus Quest. So what we want to do next is launch Virtual Desktop from inside the Quest. If stream is running, it'll auto connect. If you press this button here on the left controller, the menu button, it'll bring up this virtual desktop menu and you've got launch Steam VR here, so we can just launch it. And there we go. You should have access to all of your Steam VR games on the Oculus Quest wirelessly using SideQuest. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, hit that sub button below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.